What's good, everyone? It's me, Yo here, and today we're going to be checking out some Grand Beatbox Battle 2024 World League solo wildcards. We have three incredible diverse wildcards for you guys today. We have Mr. Abel Ice from Saudi Arabia, Stitch from Malaysia, and Pac Max from France. Very high contenders for this wildcard competition, so I'm very excited. Before we start, I just want to say recommend me some wildcards to check out. There's so many, and I'm just going to be picking based off of popular demand. So, yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys say. We're going to be starting off with Mr. Abel Ice, who recently got 4th place in GBB 2023. So, very high contender for this wildcard competition. I'm very excited. Smashed it last year. He's going to smash it this time. Let's get it going. What's up, guys? This is Abel Ice. I'm from Saudi Arabia, and this is my wildcard for GBB 2024 solo category. Oh! <laughs> what an oh! intro. I love that. That's awesome. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, I love the camera quality. It's very fitting to the scene. It's like very blurry in the desert. So yeah, I like that. Ooh. Holy shit. Hey. Back out to my desert. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Jeez. Oh. I love the, and we're going to go back to it again. I love the, the, I don't even, it's so, it's so clean. Oh my goodness. I don't know what you call it. Let me know that below. But again, just, I want to hear it again. What a crazy break. Oh my jeez. Love that. A. Okay. Oh my damn. Love that. Play with it. No. Ah. Oh, wow. That sound is so impressive. I'm really in love with uh, Abel Ice's sound arsenal. We're going to call it that. But again, I especially love this little this little crunchy filter he does. And I love how he combines it in the end with the bass You know, he usually does. I think it's a some sort of click roll. So the, the click roll with that little like crunchy, crispy filter noise is so sick. But yeah, I mean, overall, this wildcard was really incredible. Structure-wise, I mean, I wouldn't say it's as structured as, like, for example, his question mark routine, but what is it? I feel like this was just a, a big flex in techniques and sound. I mean, we had a nice melody, cool build-ups, and, like, the whole welcome. Um, there's an Arab in my desert. Like, that's a really cool theme, and I feel like it also fits with, like, the, what is it, what we had in the background. Like, if you check it again, and we'll check it one more time, it's like, what is it? It's like you were walking in the desert for, like, four to five hours. You know, your vision's dizzy and all that shit. So, I mean, I love how it fits the mood of the track. But, I mean, yeah, technique-wise, there's so many things I can talk about. I mean, I'm just going to click in a random place in the video, and we can just discuss about the crazy techniques he's doing. Back out to my desert. Ah. This right here. Yeah, wow. I love this too. Hold on. Just switching the noise. And then, yeah. Right there. 
that little again not me personally I, that's like the only part i didn't like the 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 like slizzer roll ish sound i know it's not really a slizzer roll it sounds like it that's like the only thing i didn't really enjoy but i mean overall i feel like this track was really incredible i mean if i had to point something out it would only be that but either way i feel like this thing is probably gonna be i mean we haven't checked out any other wild cards but this is gonna this is basically a high contender. I obviously, I wouldn't be surprised if this got in, like, even top three. Like, this is so incredible, the techniques I, ISIS is displaying, you know what I'm saying? Very, 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 very unique. So, yeah, Abel Ice absolutely killed it. Next, we're going to be transitioning to Mr. Stitch from Malaysia, always dropping bangers. I mean, I'm always impressed with what this guy shows. So, I mean, I'm very excited, and let's get it going. Stitch from Malaysia. Back again with another solo wild card, and this time it's for the Grammy Box Battle 2024. Let's get it. Yoink! Yes, sir. I've been thinking about this for some time now. Not a single ounce of reciprocation. Nay. I've come to realize that it's so unsguided. And that's why I have decided. Walking away. Eh, eh. What? Oh my, wait, what? Wait, what? Is that lip base? Like, is there a poly in that? I can't tell. The first one sounded like there was a poly in it, but hold on again. In the end, you can hear the poly. There's a poly with that. What? Whoa. Wow. What a texture to add to it. Sick. Oh, my goodness. Walk it away. Got nothing to say. You said it would change, but it's all the same. Walk it away. Got nothing to say. Okay. It's all in my head. That's what you say. Oh, what? Oh, my. Okay, hold up one more time, one more time. Dude. It's all in my head, that's what you say. What? That's incredible. Wow. Wow. I love that. Like, oh my goodness. It's that special sound that we all know Stitch has, but it's like high, higher pitched. And oh my goodness. I've heard him use this sound in the past, and I didn't really like it when he's done it in the past. But like in this situation, it like the placement of it with the whole mood of the song was just phenomenal it was perfect it really did fit with it so i mean yeah oh my goodness just a crazy display of what he can do i love the little runs also he had with the little tongue whistle very very sick i've we've seen him use it in the past like in his uh florida beatbox wild card and then obviously this poly is and also i would like to point out is the amount of spacing we have in these combos that he does you know there's always a, like a little bit like room of just space which adds perfectly to the track i want to play one more time just that last part because it displays it perfectly Sorry, uh, 
was it pauses is not the right word but just the amount of space between each part is just incredible just a little bit here and there but overall what an incredible wild card this is yeah i think it's about time for stitch to hit the gbb stage once again like this was really really incredible and super unique the, like even like the what is it the sounds in his arsenal that he's using in this wild card it's just it's so perfect it's i'm saying like it's so perfect from start to end i mean it was just amazing even like the lyrics i did really like the lyrics also i feel like also with stitch because uh, a lot of beatboxers are not really as good i mean like when it comes to writing lyrics they're not really great but i would say stitch is like very stand out there when it comes to writing lyrics he's very good like lyricism his lyricism and his tracks are really really well thought of picked you know rehearsed it's incredible so yeah i mean overall this is a really really good high contender for this competition oh my goodness very chill laid back but brought some incredible combos so yeah Shout out Stitch, man. Absolutely kill that. I can't wait to see, <laughs> you know, if he makes it in or not. Because that was really, really strong. Next, we have Mr. Pac-Max from France. Another strong contender for this competition. It's, yeah, this dude is an, a beast. Smashing it throughout the whole, everywhere, everywhere recently. So, yeah, I'm very excited to see what this guy has for the Wildcorn competition called Dancing Alone. Mr. Pac-Max from France. Let's get it going. Hey, yo. This is Pac-Max, and this is my World Card for GBB 2024 in Tokyo, Japan. Yes. World League, solo category. Yes, sir. Beatbox. Yes, sir. World Card, Pac-Max. Yes, sir. Now. Yes, sir. Alright. Oh. oh. Oh yeah. Dancing alone. Moving on along. You, you, thought that we were meant to be. Guess we are not. Just clicked to me that snare. What is that snare? Hold up. What? Wait, listen to that. The snare. Oh, what the shit? I just clocked it. That's so sick. What? Take your time, bro. You got hella time. Wow, okay. I love that. That was heavy. I want to check out that last part again because Pac-Max really did bring a lot of interesting textures that I enjoyed and some sounds I haven't heard. I mean, I've, I would think, <laughs> sorry guys, that I'm very familiar with uh, Pac-Max's arsenal. So, I mean, like a lot of lip rolls, you know, you have that little train whistle that he does, you know, and yes, yeah, that really, I'm not gonna lie, like even from the beginning, I did really, really love that lip bass. Like the, it was 
I was hooked in immediately as he started. So that's a big plus. But that last part in the end was really, 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 really strong. And there's something I want to analyze about it. I just want to rewatch it one more time. So let's check it out real quick. <laughs> That's mental. That's mental. Wow. Okay. Quick no, now I wanna I wanna talk about that one part that I didn't feel like it fit real quick. But that sound Wait. That one. You know what I'm talking about. Um what is it? I'm not sure if it's the way the audio is picking up the sound itself because it sounds very weak and I know Pac Max is a very, very like powerful beatboxer, but I don't think the the sound is coming out. And I don't think it's a pack max thing. It might be something with the audio mixing itself. But I mean, either way, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I, I didn't really like that, like, that sound for this drop alone. But I feel like everything else really fits. And I love what is it, how he maintains the melody that he established uh, in the beginning of the piece for that last part. It was really, really sick. I love the, also with the, that really high pitched lipo he was doing. So, I mean, yeah, very, very strong, strong wild card. Pac Max did really, really good. I, I really did enjoy that. So, I mean, yeah, this competition is very stacked. We have three, like, top contenders we just checked out. So, I mean, we still have tons and tons of wild cards to check out. So please, I'm going to be picking based on popular demand in the comments. Put down who you think, or not who you think, who I should check out. One thing I wanted to ask is I don't know how many people make it into uh, GBB this year from the wildcard competition because I know this year especially, not even this year, but like there is a lot of uh, people who qualify through other means. Like, for example, you can qualify through Great North or, you know, we already have beatland kaji who qualified from winning that and then we also have florida beatbox battles so i mean there's a lot more battles you can you know win in order to qualify for this competition so i don't know how many wild card spots they're giving but i do know it's one and done there's no second round so what is it they're going to be putting their all in these first round wild cards so i mean overall i'm very very excited i mean Holy shit, all of these guys are just going to go crazy for this competition. I'm literally like, what is it? I open up YouTube and all I see is like these wild cards and I'm just like, oh, let me put it off. Let me wait and see, you know, what the people want. So, yeah, I mean, I'm very excited, man. You guys already know I'm YOLO and I'll check you out next time. Peace.